Welcome back to this tutorial series. My name is Hannah Cruz at the Church Musicians Assistant. In this segment of the tutorial, we are going to finish up our virtual choir project. Um, so we've already edited the audio, we've partially edited the video. We're going to complete that and align the audio and video in this segment. So um, please keep watching if you want to learn how to do that for free on your Windows computer. Now we want to go ahead and align the vocal parts with the accompaniment. So what I'm going to do is listen to the accompaniment and find the exact spot where the vocalists enter. Right there. I'm zooming in to five per second. Right here. In order to mark that spot, I'm going to click the split into parts tool. All that does is break that video clip into two segments, but you won't see an actual break when it plays through. So it's a smooth break. This is just a way to mark the spot. Now we'll mark where each vocalist enters in their track. So Victor enters about here and we're going to split Now you'll just drag Victor until those two markers align. So now when you play back both of the tracks together, they should be pretty close to aligned and you can continue to move that vocal track a little bit left or right um, to align it as best you can. It doesn't matter if um, the sound is not perfectly aligned the sound is your, your indicator of whether it's aligned while we're editing, but ultimately uh, these parts are going to be muted and we're going to add that audio file that we edited in um, Audacity. We're going to layer that on top of this. So really the whole point of what we're doing here is just to get the visual parts aligned as closely as we can. But like I said, it's fine if it's not quite perfect. Now unfortunately in BSDC the buffering is pretty slow so the more tracks you have playing at the same time the you know more uh, skipping it's going to do but um, I can get sort of an idea of what's going on here. And the Victor's part was just a little bit early, so I'm gonna scoot him this way a hair and see if that helped. can tell even with all the skipping that that is way better aligned. Now I'm going to turn Victor off and listen to Jessica with the accompaniment. I'll do the same thing where I mark um, her entrance. Actually let me listen to her alone and mark her entrance and then we'll listen to it with the accompaniment. Right there. Okay, we'll cut that or split that. 
Oops. Make sure her part is selected. Then we'll move her until she aligns with the accompaniment mark. Now let's listen to the accompaniment and Jessica together. close. She's just a little bit early, so I'm going to scoot her to the right. Just again. Great God, we Good. That's great. Now just go through all of the tracks with the accompaniment and do that same thing. Once you're done editing that part, go back and check that everything lines up. Um, like I said, the buffering is going to be pretty slow here, at least it is on my computer, but you can still get a decent idea of whether it lines up or not. Okay, so now we can add embellishments to our video. I like to add transitions that smooth out um, the entrances and exits of each video. So I'm going to select this first one, the accompaniment, then go to video effects, transitions, and then of course there are multiple different styles of transition that you can choose from. I like the fade, I think that looks um, nice and subtle. So. What we want is a fade in from the beginning. So we'll select from scene beginning and it's going to add a new layer. That's fine. And see what that does. A nice subtle fade right there. We also want a fade at the end, so select the end bit, go to video effects, transitions, fade, and select to scene end. Now it should fade out. Perfect. Then we can do that on all the rest of our clips. Now let's pretend that we wanted to solo a group of singers out. Um, so we want to make the accompaniment go away for a certain amount of time and then pop back up later. And you know, if you have a section a soloing in your anthem or one soloist, you could use this little trick to uh, make everyone on the screen disappear for a small amount of time and then come back later. So let's say we want it to disappear. It is right here. So we will cut it um, by clicking the split tool. And then let's say we want the accompaniment to come back here. Again, we'll split and then click the section right here that you um, just sectioned off and click delete. Now, you probably want to add those fades in so that the entrances and exits aren't abrupt. So right here, we'll do a, um, a fade in from scene begin and right here we'll do a fade out. Um, now what you will have is uh, 
the accompaniment disappearing later. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this project so far and am ready to export it. Now we will go to export project, export as a mp4, and click export project. It's going to give you this screen but just click continue. Great, now we've got the video file exported. We've got our audio file exported. So the only thing left to do is line both of those up together. Um, the easiest way I've found of doing that on a Windows computer is to use the, the free video app that comes on your Windows computer. So if you go down to the bottom in the search bar and type in video, you'll see the first thing that comes up is the video editor, and this is just what comes with your computer. So let's open that. Um, then you're going to create a new video project right here and give it a title. So let's call it TCMA um, Virtual Choir Project. And we're going to add the video file we just exported. Okay. Once you've added it up here, then you drag it to your storyboard so that you can well, edit it and work with it and so forth. We've got our video down here. Now, I'm going to try to find a spot in the video uh, where I can visibly see either an entrance or an exit because that's going to help me line things up. Right there, I can't actually see in the video when I am starting to play on the piano. So I'm going to go to the end because I think there's a clear cutoff at the end. Yeah, so my cutoff is useful. I'll let you see that one more time. Okay. So now that I've found the cutoff, I'm going to try to align the audio file as closely with that as I can. I'm going to go to custom audio, add an audio file, and this is where we put in our um, file that we created in Audacity. So there it goes. Oh, okay, it squeezed it all up in that one spot. We want to drag it to the beginning and extend it as far as it goes to get the full audio file in there. Click done. Now, uh, if you don't want to hear the audio of the video on top of the custom audio, then you'll click this um, little audio symbol on the video and click it until it has the X. That will mute the video sound. That way you don't hear them on top of each other. Okay, now I'm gonna back it up and see where we're at with alignment. Okay, that was actually pretty close. The, um, the audio file cut off a little earlier than the video did. So what I'm going to do is go back to custom audio and I'm going to move this track a little bit to the right. Sometimes if you move that little um, cursor thing, your track will lock onto it. So let's just scoot it to the right a little bit, go back, test it out. This is a process of trial and error, just like the the video alignment in BSDC. Okay, even closer, we're gonna 
scoot it a little more. <laughs> Test it out. That is pretty close. I um, want to go back to the beginning now and see how well the video and audio line up overall. with that that is fairly well aligned you know I can see the mouths moving and it is lining up pretty well with the the audio so that is basically it now you can add some some other features to your video if you want using this video editor like at the beginning let's maybe put some text on it like um, TCMA anthem by Hannah <laughs> and the Hannahs. <laughs> okay, and um, I want that to stay on screen for just a little while, just two or three seconds. Now we back up, back it up to the beginning, and there's the text. There's really nothing else I want to add to it, so I'm going to say finish video. Um, leave it on the high quality, that's best. Export. Make sure it has the right name. Make sure you're saving it in the correct folder. Uh, I'm going to call this final so that I know this is the one I want to use. And it's exporting so this will take just a couple minutes so that's basically it guys um, now you can do whatever you want to with this video like upload it to YouTube put it on Facebook whatever your church is going to do with it it's it's all complete if you want to receive more helpful content like this please comment down below. I would appreciate hearing the kinds of content that you need right now um, or that you would find inspiring or interesting. So please comment and if you're not subscribed to our channel, The Church Musician's Assistant, already, um, I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe because what that does is it helps the YouTube algorithm know to present our videos to more people on YouTube and that gets our content out uh, further. We'll have a, a wider reach that way. And when you click the notification button on YouTube, you will be notified when we put out new videos. So that's nice for you as well. Um, again, thank you and uh, good luck with your virtual choir projects. Until next time, bye.